Hey guys, this is Matt, and I have another Unity tutorial. And this one is going to be about the animator state machines and things that you can do to uh, simplify them whenever they start to get really complex. So, <clears throat> what, what I started to do is I put all of my complex states into their own uh, sub-state machines. So my walking uh, state machine got to be really unwieldy. Unwieldy. So you have uh, four different animations that need to be played at different times. Uh, same thing for the attacking. So what I decided to do is make this kind of like a uh, conductor uh, type state here. It doesn't have any animations. All it does is it transitions to whatever current state you tell it to. So uh, one is attacking, uh, zero is going to be walking, and this is pretty expandable. So you can say, uh, is your unit supposed to be gathering? Okay, send them to gather stuff, or you know, if they're walking, send them to walk, stuff like that. Or do they need to be dying right now? Go ahead and send them to the dying state machine. So that's what your conductor is going to do. It's going to send them to these different states. And they get to the conductor whenever a trigger is called uh, so I called it just reset state. So this is going to reset your entire state machine no matter what uh, state you're in. As soon as this gets triggered it's going to go right back to the conductor and it's going to go whatever to whatever state you decided that they needed to be in. So let's just take a quick look at the code behind this. So I just made a method called set state and it takes the state ID that's what you're going to be changing the current current state to. So you know, one is the attacking state, zero is the walking state, uh, so on. So if the animator, uh, so if the current state of the animator is not equal to what you're changing it to, then you want to go ahead and reset the state machine here, and then set the current state equal to the state ID that you got. Otherwise, you're already in that state, and you don't want to reset it. Otherwise, because that's just going to make the uh, state machine jitter, and it's always going to go from, basically, always go from here to here, every time you call it, and it's not really going to get into this state and start doing things. So that is the basics, uh, basically what I did, and then I just call I just call the set state anytime that I need to. Uh, Anytime the player needs to be walking or attacking, I just tell it to set its state to those uh, uh, events. And here is a demonstration of uh, what the state machine uh, is actually doing. So I'll take my main pirate hero here, send him away from the group. So now, so now he's in the uh, walking state, obviously. So he walks left, right, walks forward, and he walks backward. But whenever there's an enemy to attack, he punches them with bullets. So there he was attacking forward, and there he goes attacking left, and eh, right, now I should be attacking backwards. So those are the basic states, and, uh, and that's what the state machine was doing. So thank you very much for watching.